Uh, it's good enough. Not much weight today, so I don't need to get too far out. We got a new rod because I got run over by a boat last time I was out. Some idiot drove like, I don't know, 40 meters behind me. Got my line, spun me around. I had line from three rods wrapped around me. I was trying to get them to come over so that I could deal with it. And they spun back and they pretended that, oh, he's probably all right. And then they went out to Palm Beach Reef and started fly fishing instead. And meanwhile, I lost all the braid on that rod and all the gear and in all that commotion I lost my other rod so the slammer 3 is no more he's on the bottom of the ocean somewhere so I have no idea who they are but hope never to see you again pretty shitty anyway let's not start on that note I am gonna see if I can find some fish Some days feel very fishy and some days don't. And today definitely don't. I think it's usually when it's been blowing northerly winds, the ocean is a little bit, I don't know, it changes. We want southerly winds to bring in the fish. Southerly winds bring in warmer water and usually fish. Should we set this up? Yeah. Always the question, isn't it? Here's the new rod, by the way. Say, uh, I've had good, I like the spin fisher. They seem to be sealed enough to keep the salt water off. I rinse them every time I use them. Yeah, so that one's uh, 5,500. This one's 6,500. And the one at the back there is 4,500, so. If I was to recommend one, I would just go with the 5,500. There we go, it's our first slimy. Good luck to you, mate. Hope you can bring me some Spanish. Spanish is what we want. We've got some supply, but only in the freezer. Nothing fresh in the fridge at the moment. We've had some, uh, some decent swells and been surfing instead of fishing. All right, we are fishing. Let's go again. Come all the way out to the buoy. But it seems there's some fish here. I can see once it's hooked up. I'm a little bit worried my uh, my baits are tangled up, but I'm gonna have a look in a sec. They should be out here. I just had someone go in front of me, so I have to wait for them to to pass. And now we're gonna get some speed. Let's see if we can catch one too. So for the last half hour I've been bumping around here sorting out a tangle on all three lines. I am not feeling good. <laughs> Bit of motion sickness, especially with that northerly wind blowing one direction, swell going another direction, having to focus on those lines. <sighs> yucky. Very yucky. Getting some baits on. So I've got the other guys have been catching a few spotties. So I'm putting some pilchards on. Pilchards seem to work better for the spotties. This one's spinning a bit, and I couldn't care less. If I get a tangle, I'm just gonna paddle in with my rods out. That's how good I feel. Oh, all right. Let's do this. Let's get back to Palm Beach.
Not far from Burley again. Fish on. Didn't think it was going to happen today. Oi. Coming straight towards us. Sorry about the water on the lens here. There we go. I gotta recover the other. The other line. I've got a boat to be coming to. Yes. Gotta be a spot here, this one. Given the way he ran. Coming straight towards me. It's like just a dead weight at the moment. It's not going to be for long though. He's going to run so. Can't give up already, mate. That's well and truly in. Yep, spotty. Spotty, spotty, spotty. <sighs> Just what we're hoping for. See how well he's, ooh, he is not hooked up well at all. It looked like at least. Yeah, this looks like one little hook in his body. Not even uh, gonna listen to Greg here. Ooh, it's gonna be testy. Might lose this fish. Yeah, it's got the stinger just underneath his gills. That's it. I missed the gaff shot. He is gone. But we didn't. Whew. There's no tail grabbing going on today. Oi, oi, oi. Sorry, mate. Ah. Get that off. All right. Still a bit nauseous, but that makes you feel a little bit better. Let's get the hooks out of him and do the dirty deeds. Spotty. Ah, will be perfect for dinner, this one. Here you go. I always get this slime in there. Beautiful spotty. So, gonna bleed this guy and then get some new baits on and see if we can get one on the way in. I am definitely going in. So nauseous. This red and white seems to work really well. Definitely notice I've caught a couple of fish on that guy. How could it make a difference? And what even is that's good? I don't know. But, seems to work better than none, so. One fish today. It's, uh, I couldn't stay out there. I'm so nauseous, I'm still nauseous. But um, I'm very happy that I caught one. Didn't think I was gonna get any. 
So there we go. There it is. Give it a rinse. I'll try to get rid of this. But yeah, beautiful spotty. It'll be dinner this week, or she, not sure which one. And I'm gonna pack up. Seems everyone caught one today. It's one of the one fish. Doesn't make for much of a video when I don't catch one. We'll see. I might have to throw something else in there. I've been doing a video on how I do this rig which is Canster's button rig, plus my little, oh, oh you, you can go. Plus I, I use a top weight instead. I just find they, for me, they work better. So yeah, I've been doing that. There's a lot of people asking, even though there's a lot of videos online on how to do these rigs. I'm certainly no expert at them, but uh, I might chuck that in here. <sighs> Still feeling quite nauseous. Like it never goes away. Once we've once it's got ya, it's got ya. At least with me, I just gotta go in. Whew. When you have to deal with a tangle and you got this choppy water and a swell going in one direction and the wind going in another direction. Yeah, it's no good. It gets ya. Anyway, I'm gonna head in. I hope you guys are having a good day. I will, once I reach land again. And uh, yeah, take it easy. See ya. So here we go. Here's the infamous deadbait rig. This one's based on Conster's button rig uh, with a few modifications. I definitely recommend you check out his video on how to make his and maybe try both of them. Um, for me, I find this one works better, but yeah, as I said, he knows, he knows his stuff a lot better, so definitely try his out. So the way I do mine is, um, we obviously use wire here. The wire that I use is uh, this one to um, keep those toothy creatures from biting through our line. Uh, mine is a 44 pound single strand, um, seems to do the trick. And then we've got a top hook. Top hook I use is this one, Mustard 2L. Um, and there's a chin weight on the top hook so that the bait swims right, it's not spinning. Um, the way I do my um, Chin weights is I just take one of these bean sinkers. In Australia you can get these from Big W, they're really cheap. Uh, I use size number two normally. This one's number three, um, but so number two normally they're about 14 grams. I saw them in half, squeeze them open a little bit and put the hook in the middle and glue it with a bit of super glue. Seems to do the trick, none of them have come off ever. So after that you go swivel, so I use top hook, swivel, gang hook, swivel, gang hook, swivel, split ring and then treble, stinger hook. So the swivels that I normally use are these ones, Black Magic 28 kilo. They are a little bit cheaper but there's another one that I find works really well which is the mustard. I think these are actually labeled wrong this is 32 kilos i don't know if they are but um size 10. to put the uh, swivel on the top hook i actually have to squeeze the barbin slightly it's a bit of a cardinal sin but that's the way i do it if you've got another way to do it let me know you can obviously use a different type of top hook so that you can get the swivel over but uh, i like this hook so that's the way i do it then comes the gang hooks, so the ones I use are Gangsters, um, 3O in this case, I use 3O or 4O, and I buy them in bulk, I actually buy them like this, it makes it a little bit cheaper, this rig ends up costing about five dollars, five US dollars I'd say. So gang hook goes on, make sure you put the swivels on each gang hook before you clamp them together. It's a common mistake, um, so 
gang hook, gang hook. Then, yeah, the stinger hook. I definitely recommend using it. I, I, I suspect half of the fish, if not more, that I catch are only on that stinger hook. Obviously optional, but I would recommend it. Um, the treble that I use are these ones. Don't really know the size, it just says number two, but you want a strong one. I used to steal them a lot off my, off my other lures. I probably still have a couple that I've stolen from hard body lures, but those hooks are quite flimsy when it comes to the mackerel and they're all squeezed together and stuff when, you, when they come up. So I recommend a little bit of a stronger hook. So that's the, the actual hook part of the, of the rig. And then we got the, the wire. So as I said, the wire I use is this one, 44 pound. There's a lot of videos that will explain this better. Um, I end up with about a foot of wire. That's my wire leader. So you probably need about a foot and a half to put this together. Um, so you start with doing a haywire twist, it's called. And the best trick I've found for doing this is you want the wires to cross each other. That's the most common mistake that you get only one wire, usually the tail end, that's going around the other wire and that will actually slip. So the way you want it is you want each wire to, to cross each other each for each twist. Best way to do that is um, to do one little twist and then have a look at it and do another little twist and have a look at it and correct each time so that both wires are definitely crossing each other. So they cross each other about, I don't know, three or four times and then you start doing a barrel roll and the barrel roll, the wires are, the one wire is actually going over the other. Um, try to do this as tight as possible, five of those barrel rolls and then you got to get the tail end off and I see a lot of people that just cut them off. I find that leaves a r little bit of a sharp edge that can easily get caught in your braid or or anything else so I prefer to just wiggle the wire off. Yeah you, you do this little handle on them and then you can you can kind of yeah wiggle them off and it turns out like the the rig or the wire is just completely smooth over that so, um, area so nothing can get stuck. That's another thing I would say with this um, with doing the chin weight, like some people put them in um, like with pliers and stuff and you get little sharp edges on on the weight, which yeah, I don't like it. I, um, I try to keep everything as smooth as possible. Anyway, do the um, haywire twist and the barrel roll on both ends of the wire, obviously. The front obviously has a um, another swivel so things spin freely and yeah you finish everything off with the with the skirt and I've started cutting the um, the top of my skirts off I don't they're not on there very very hard that just makes it easier to um, to swap the skirts out uh, when you want to try different colors probably mostly psychological who knows what those skirts do but yeah that's how I do it so I hope that explains a little bit and that you get some use of this. I would love to hear if you if you do use it and catch some fish on it, um, especially if you do it in in other ways than we do it. Um, love to hear about it. So yeah. Anyway, that's me. I'm out. Catch you later.